Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry and welcome back to my channel. Um, tonight I'm going to be making um, a soap with um, a Lush type, which is Honey I Washed the Kids. And that fragrance is Toffee Honey and Toffee Honey and Caramel. That's the notes on that fragrance. And um, I really love Lush types fragrance. And I need to actually start using some of the fragrances that I have because I'm trying to get rid of most of them so I can use only Rustic Essential. You guys know that I re review for Rustic Essential and I really, really do love their fragrances. But I have like 500, no, I have about $700 worth of fragrances sitting on the shelf that I really, really need to start using. But um, it's not going to be very often. Um, I just, every occasionally, and uh, this fragrance is most definitely not by... Uh, the company that I bought these from, um, that I bought the Honey I Washed the Kids from. Now, anytime I can get my hands on a Lush dupe, I'm definitely going to do that. But these came from a company called, uh, not this, <laughs> all my other fragrances came from a company called um, um, Southern Sensations that's located here in Michigan. And, um, yeah, I need to really use that stuff up before it goes bad. And nobody wants that because that's a lot of money. But yeah, I would like to, you know, get rid of them just because I want to start using, I would say probably, well, right now, uh, most of my, I would say probably a good eight, 95% of the fragrances that I use is Rustic Essential. So I want to go ahead and get rid of some of these other ones. Oh, duh. I know you guys can see, but purple, gold, and orange are my colors for this soap. Um, I don't exactly have a idea of... I'm gonna do this yet. I'm just kind of winging it. I just know I wanted these colors. So I'll put a little bit of gold. And I don't know if there's any vanillin in this fragrance or not. I did not check. I hope it's not. That's the only thing about using uh, <laughs> fragrances from, uh, from other companies and they don't have like full notes. You don't know what's gonna happen. But my base, you guys know since I oops I bought that uh fragrance good lord I am just all over the place since I bought that olive oil that's more on the dark green side um most of my batters are like a dark almost caramel color which I I'm not a fan of not even a little bit so um this fragrance actually lightened it oddly enough <laughs> so very happy about that I think this is going to be really pretty. I'm loving it already. <laughs> I really am. And I hope I got a little mini loaf clean. Because I'm going to want to um, make a mini soap. Oh, this is going to be pretty. I can already tell. I wasn't going to make soap today. Because I was like really busy doing so many other things. But... Um, it's like nine o'clock, I think, just about nine o'clock at night on a Sunday, which I normally make so way earlier than that. But I see, you know what? I came down here to pack an order, and I really felt like making soap, so that's what I'm doing. So I scraped all my bowls out and now I have, I don't know why I didn't grab my small mold uh, yet, but I'm going to, um, I don't know if I want to hand, no, I'll do it like this. I'm going to pour some of this on top and I am going to try my best not to touch this. <laughs> I always say every time, oh yeah, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it just like that and then I go and muck it up. But this has been sitting for a few, so hopefully it'll hold its own weight, I'm hoping. So I'm just trying to get it poured around. That is cool, man. And then what I got left, I use for my um, mini mold. And I did make some micas for a mica drizzle, but... <laughs> I don't know. Nope. 
Again, I'm, I'm not going to leave this. It's not working for me. I'm going to grab my mini mold. While I, while, while I was off camera, I started mucking around with uh, this mica, seeing what I want to do. And now I am going to leave this top just like this. But I'm going to um, just take some mica drips or drizzles and just kind of put them around on the top. I actually do like that. Yep, I do. And then I got a little bit of purple. I'm going to do the same for. And, um, not too much, though, of the purple. I think this is going to turn out lovely. So, finally, I did it. I didn't go messing with it. And yeah, it looks a little sloppy right now, but I'll clean all that up. But that'll be after... Um, the 24 hours because I don't want to disturb the top. That's how I always end up messing it up because I go trying to clean the sides and it screws it up. So I'm going to leave it alone. So that's all I want and I'm going to move that off to the side. Well, actually, I'll give you guys a peek and then I'll put this one away. So there you have it. Isn't that pretty? I've been wanting to try that out for a very long time. I just can't seem to not muck it up. <laughs> so how I decided to do that because I um, squirt some of my mica in the bowl for my mini loaf. I'm just trying something new. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but I want to try it anyway. And that's how you learn new techniques, you know? So... Um, let me get my skewer and I'll just kind of give that a swirl through with my skewer and then I'll pour it okay I'm gonna scoop that back down though okay now I'm gonna get this poured in my bowl I hope that turns out really cool I think, oh yeah, that mica drizzle is gorgeous, y'all. I know you guys can't see yet, but I'll show you in a second. Alright, I decided to go ahead and pour all that in there and then come back because I didn't want to bore you guys to tears with um, watching me scrape a bowl and really not being able to see what I was doing. So... Now what I'm going to do with this, give another little snack down, just like that. And then I am going to add a little bit more mica, just to make the top interesting. Just because it's a um, mini loaf doesn't mean it has to be boring. Lately, my mini loaves have been coming out spectacular. I'm like, dang, man, <laughs> I should do that for my big loaf. So I just might start trying some of these techniques on my larger loaves. Okay, now I use a little bit more of my gold. Okay, oh, that's gonna be love, y'all. Absolutely. Now, grab my skewer and just kind of give a little swirl. Just the little random swirls. No patterns. And just a swirl. And the reason why I wanted to do the Michael on top just because um, it kind of muddied. Of course, the bottom, when you're scraping it out the bowl, it always muddies. So I just want to liven that up a little bit. And I think that Micah just did it. You know what I mean? I know some people are probably like, oh my god, why does she use that dirty little rag? <laughs> These are Gabe's old t-shirts. When he doesn't want them anymore, I just cut them up and use them. And they're cotton, so they clean very well. And I have really pretty uh, cleaning towels. I got many of these in pink, blue, and uh, yellow. But I always just go back to these because they're cotton. They're so absorbent. So anywho, that's enough of that. So, give you a close up 
Oh, that one too. And this fragrance smells so good. I have never been a hater of Lush. Lush is how I got my start. Well, what uh, inspired me to even start making soap. Um, I just thought they were fantastic. Um, for those of you who don't know, give you a quick little history on how I started. Um, used to go to Lush. Lush had the most amazing bath bombs I had ever smelled. I would get some of their soaps and shower jellies. And I'm just like, man, this stuff smells absolutely amazing. But Lush is expensive. That's no surprise to anybody. They are very expensive. So I'd go in there and buy one bath bomb. Or even two if I was feeling lucky. And at the time, I wasn't making very much money. And that was over 20 bucks. I'm just like, man. So I figure out how to make my own bath bombs. And um, I started making bath bomb cupcakes. And then after that, I'm like, you know what? I want to make soap. So... That's how I started looking up and uh, looking into it and got into soap making. So there's my quick history of Royal Apple Bay for those who are new and did not know that. But um, I am a fan of Lush. Always have been a fan of Lush. Always will be a fan of Lush. Um, I don't shop there anymore because pretty much I can make whatever I want. But I still like to walk by and just smell and admire them. I really, really do because they're awesome. They really, really are. And I hope to one day be big as them. You know, I think that's all of our dream. But anywho, that's enough. Um... Of that so I'm I'm really really hoping that you like this soap I am very very excited about it I love the colors on this soap um, I love this swirl on the top I know it looks a little bit crazy right now but I am going to leave it alone because and I'm lying but I'm gonna clean out like the outer edges because every time I try to clean it I go and muck up the top I think this is gonna be really cool so that's it that's at all guys um actually no it's not <laughs> hey guys if you are just joining my channel welcome I am so fucking happy you found me um thank you for tuning in and taking time out of your busy schedule to watch me make soap I am Kenny the messy soaper as you can see why I'm called the messy soaper um I make messes on you but I do always pull it off uh, <laughs> if you would like to become a part of my stinking awesome crew, that's what I call my awesome sauce subscribers. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications of whenever I post new videos, hit that bell. And you'll be notified whenever a new video is posted, which is every Sunday. All right, love. So now I'm going to go. Love, hugs, and kisses. Always be amazing at everything you do. And until the cutting video, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Hi darlings, this is Kenny the Messy Silver over at Royal Appleberry and um, I am having a grand old day just because today was the day of our last company picnic at my job and um, got to work at 7, left at 10.30, was done with the picnic at 1.20 so that's a good day so I get to come home and cut soap for you all and make more soap. So, um... I'm just like super excited today. Um, I mean, who wouldn't? You just got off work and still getting paid. But, <laughs> um, ooh, I just chopped right into this and didn't tell you guys what it is. So, you know, um, duh, you do know what this is. Whenever I do not, um, cut my soaps like the next day, I kind of forget <laughs> that I made a making video. So, yeah, you guys know what this is. So, <laughs> um, for those of you who didn't watch the making video, shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, there is a making video. I haven't named this soap, but it is fragrance in a Lush dupe um, called Honey, I Wash the Kids. Of course, that's not going to be the name of this soap. It's just a dupe. I don't know the name yet. I'll come up with something. But um, this has been sitting for three days. I just want to leave it and let it do its thing. And I'm very happy that I did because that little piece is very pretty. But yeah, so um, I told you guys that you guys know I do this craft fair every November. And um, it's always a rat race, but I'm ahead this year, thank God. But I actually just landed four more. So <laughs> I got uh, two for November. I got two for November, one for October. No, two for November, two for October, one for December. So Kitty is going to be a busy girl. So I'm going to be cranking out the soaps like nobody's business. And I love this soap. I do. It is so gosh darn pretty. Look at those colors. And um, the stupid soda ash. So I sprayed the crap out of this with alcohol. And then I had my dehumidifier running. So seriously, why do I have soda ash? But um, this smells super duper good. And um, also, I'm going to steam it. Because I can't be having no soda ash covering up all my pretty swirls. So, um, yeah, I'm in totes my goats in love with this soap. Yes, I is. Oh, this is really pretty. 
and then you can actually see the gold and I did put a splash of fragrance in that gold but it still came out pretty nice I love this and I don't I did this at my old uh, uh, soap studio I put my drying rack on the table but it took up too much room but um, since I got such a big uh, workspace now I do have it sitting another one sitting on the table and it, it is so convenient so if you do have a space and you have the um, essential depot uh, drying racks totes my goats put on the table is this not gorgeous like seriously I love these swirls oh yes I do Ooh, I love it I mean that goal is fantastic it really really is but yeah <laughs> I like I said I'm all over the place because I'm just super excited that I get to come home and do soapy stuff like I said, I need to really get cracking. I got a lot of soaps, but I'm going to need way more if I plan to do five craft fairs. That is nuts. Kenny, what have you gotten yourself into? But the great thing about it is they're all in my neighborhood, so I don't have to travel super far. So that does make a difference. Man, I love this. Those colors are just st uh, stellar together, aren't they? And I'll be so freaking happy when I'm out of olive oil. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Who says that? <laughs> but pretty soon I'm going to be... Well, actually, I think I am. I think we used all of that really yellow, I mean, dark green olive oil. So I definitely got to get some more because I need to master batch my head off. Or maybe I can talk Mr. Gabe into doing it, which is probably not going to happen. But he did it the first time and he didn't complain. He just doesn't like doing lie. He said it makes him nervous. So... Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going to actually take pictures of all of my soaps and all the ones that are um, curing, well, uh, already cured. I'm going to, well, let me take that back. They'll be cured in a week or so. I'm going to actually start making all my labels for them now. So I'm not waiting till the last minute. I am just trying to be proactive, y'all. Yes, I am. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this fragrance is very light, but you can definitely smell it. I just hope that like with some fragrances, once they start to cure out, it starts to pop. Um, because I like it. I just want it to be a wee bit stronger. That's just my personal preference. But um, I do hope that it gets a, just a tad bit stronger. And this soap is cutting beautifully. It really, really is. Alrighty, there you go, and it's like crazy because we have our um, company picnics, they're never on Friday, and it just, it feels like a Friday and it sucks, you gotta go to work, back to work the next day, <laughs> but um, I only got one more day of work, um, today's actually, it's not Sunday, it's Tuesday, when you guys see this, it'll be Sunday, but um, I'm leaving for South Carolina, tomorrow, not tomorrow, Thursday, so, um, it's going to be a short week for me, either way it goes. So, super duper happy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nothing like cutting a gorgeous soap. This puts me in a great mood. It really, really does. And this soap is just, those swirls, man, they're, they're doing it for me. So, I'm going to try to make a couple of soaps today. And I only got four more batches, five more batches of oil to make soaps and Gabe wants to make one but he keeps putting it off so guess what Gabriel I'm going to make your soap <laughs> but not make your soap use your oil <laughs> you're just going to wait until we master batch because I need to crank out as many as possible because I did find um, two craft fairs that were this month and this is September and I'm just like that's kind of cutting it close I do have stuff that's cured out but I don't want to go to a craft fair and have two of one bar of soap and three of the other I just don't like that so I said it's a little too too close I need to wait until some more of my soap start to cure out so October is perfect because I have been a soap making machine as of late beautiful 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 oh that's stinking soda ash <laughs> and it doesn't stink I'm just calling it that because it's so annoying I really need to have to go away so I'm gonna like I said steam the crap out of these because that top those swirls are really really pretty the mica didn't get soda on it soda ash on it oddly enough but um oh wow look at that it's actually a full one inch bar all right so this is going to be one with no pretty back but 
a lot of people don't even care <laughs> that's just me all right guys so i am off to make the next soap so i love hugs and kisses and if you are new to my channel i am so freaking happy you found me thank you for tuning in thank you for watching thank you for spending your day with moi at least i don't know like seven eight minutes of your day with me <laughs> i make soaps every sunday um i post videos every sunday but um if you would like to become a part of my Sting and Awesome crew, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button right right there. Right there. It's somewhere. You see it. But <laughs> hit that subscribe button if you want to get notifications of whenever I post new videos. All you got to do is hit that bell and you'll be notified whenever a new video of mine comes up. So, guys, until... Nope. Before I go, I always got to thank my subscribers who are always here supporting me and showing me so much love. Love you guys, too. Absolute bits. You guys are amazeballs. All right, now I'm going now. Bye.